Tonight is a magical night. Where I choose the cat that deserves a new life. It all started because my parents took me to cats when I was eight years old. It was the first year of its run. It was 1981 and I fell in love with it. And it was the most extraordinary experience in the theatre and what Trevor and Andrew Lloyd Webber did was incredible. And, um, and you know, we bought the cassette of the album, we listened, the whole family listened to it on repeat till it was worn out. Um, and, and so the reason I'm sitting here today is because I was an eight-year-old who fell in love with it. Uh, and, I, and I think, God, you know, imagine if I went, could go back in a time machine and visit my eight-year-old self and say, do you know one day you're going to direct the movie of this? Uh, my mind would have been completely blown. When I was much younger, about eight years old, um, I remember having a video of Cats, the original stage production of it, and I used to dance to it in my living room just for fun, and sometimes I'd invite my friends around and make them watch and dance to it too, but I would always be Victoria, and I let them be any other cat, but I'd always be Victoria. <laughs> you know, and it's a great example of how, you know, it, 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 in a sense, dreams can come true that you don't even realise are dreams at the time. Um, and, and I've been, like no other movie I've ever done before, I've been very connected to that childhood self because I so vividly remember why it worked for me. I think what was brilliant was um, just that everyone felt very in it together, as in, you know, you had actors who had to dance or, you know, singers who had to act. Um, so everyone at some point was going to be out of their comfort zone, but everyone felt completely supportive and just, you know, like... Um, yeah, we were all sharing and learning from each other, really. The whole journey with the CGI has been actually how to kind of make it not the story. <laughs> I mean, which sounds kind of intuitive, but, 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 but really what my dream has always been how to integrate it into the actor so that the, the actor's original performance is fully protected. And, uh, and, I, and I think we've got there so that, you know, when you watch Ian McKenna or Judy Dents, you're, you're, you're watching 100% them, but, but with the added layer of, their, of feline magic. We just had to um, wear the suits and then our fur was digitally added later. Um, so all we had to do was really just imagine our ears and our tail and everything and the rest was done. <laughs> the dancing obviously felt much more relaxed, um, but the singing definitely was quite daunting for me, especially at the beginning of the process. I remember being quite nervous, quite terrified. Um, but by the end of the shoot, singing in front of Taylor Swift in a whole room full of you know crew and not being too phased. <laughs> Probably one of my most special days was directing Ian McKellen doing Gus the Theatre Cat because, you know, he's singing it to Judy Dench in a cat basket and this is one of our great actors in his 80th year singing about his life in theatre and drama to one of our greatest actresses in her 84th year. Um, and it was, it was very moving to me particularly and also going back to childhood, I first saw Ian in Coriolanus when I was 10 and thought he was extraordinary and I've wanted to work with him all my life and I just, I just haven't had a film where there's an obvious role and to finally get the chance to work with him and those days when I go around to his house in rehearsal and work on the, on the, the, the part and then that day on set with him, that was like a dream come true for me. <laughs> That's what I say to you. <laughs> I love doing Mungo Jerry Rumpel Teaser, that was a lot of fun because we obviously had to be quite naughty in that scene. <laughs> um, and I also love doing Mr. Mistopheles because that was one that the, sort of the whole cast was really involved with, so that felt very special. Um, yeah, we had a cat behavioural specialist um, on set and also who would take our cat school lessons um, and remind us of ways that we could just be more feline. Um, you know, I use my shoulders, for example, a lot to make myself feel more cat-like. For me, a lot of it was curiosity of, I've never, I've never in my life worked with dance as a medium and to get to work with dance as a medium on this scale was thrilling and, to, 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 and so part of it was a desire to kind of push myself to go into an area I knew nothing about and try to get educated and, um, and you know, like I had Andy Blanc computer as the choreographer who's one of the greats.